Hi guys, so today I will be showing you how to make this really nice canvas tote bag with your Cricut machine. So let's jump right in. So first you wanna go over to my website at insideoutline.com and then you wanna go over to the free resource library tab. If you are not already subscribed to my free resource library, you will have to scroll down below and put in your information to get all of these free files. If you are subscribed already, you can just click on this button and enter the password. Once you get inside the free resource library, you will scroll down and you will see the file right here and you will click on that to download it to your computer. Moving over to Cricut Design Space, you want to click the upload button, upload image, browse, and then click on that SVG file that you just downloaded from my website and click open. And then you want to click save, click on that image and click insert images. And so this design for this tote bag is very simple. Um, you don't have to make any changes unless you want to, if you want to change up some of the colors. But because my entire design will be the same color, all I will need to do is to adjust the width of the project and I want it to be 10.5 inches wide. So then I will click my design and click the attach button so everything looks as it does on the screen. And then I will click the make it button. And so then I want to mirror my design because this is an HTV project. And then I will click continue. And now Cricut Design Space is looking to connect to my Cricut machine via Bluetooth. And then I will load my HTV onto my Cricut mat and cut my project. So this is the HTV that I will be using for this project. And this HTV is a Caesar Rose Gold HTV. And it was a either 12 by 12 or 12 by 14 or 15 inch. Um, so this is the HTV that I will be using. And as you can see, I already have my Cricut Easy Press mat down and I have my Cricut Easy Press machine right here uh, that is already preheated to 315 degrees for 30 seconds. And so I will put my HTV down on this mat and I do want to put the shiny side down. And I will also say, you may notice that this is not a Cricut mat, but it is the cleanest 12 by 12 mat that I have right now. So I will just load this onto, or put this HTV onto my mat. And my design is 10.5 inches. So um, right up in here. And then next I will load this into my Cricut machine. So now my uh, design has been cut into my HTV and I have my handy dandy scissors here so that I can cut out um, the extra parts. And so I will peel my HTV from the mat. So I'll turn my mat over and just peel it away from my design. Set my mat to the side and you can see that my design is on the upper half over here so I will just cut off the extra parts and set this to the side and I will be using my exacto knife to weed because I have misplaced my weeding tool um, so this has been working um, perfectly fine for me. So I will just start weeding out my design. So this is what the design looks like. And so now I will grab my canvas back so that I can apply the HTV to it. So this is the canvas bag that I got from Hobby Lobby and I don't remember how much it cost it but I'm pretty sure it was less than five dollars and so now I need to grab my um, lint roller just so that I can get some of these pieces off.
Okay, so I want to make sure that my bag is centered on my Cricut Easy Press mat. And so you can see where the extra is hanging off. And then I want to make sure that there is enough on the top and bottom. And I think that's good. So my design will go right up in here. So I will take my design and place it where I want it on my bag and make sure that it is centered and level. And I think I like that. And I will also take my Teflon sheet and just lay it on top of my design. And I got these Teflon sheets on Amazon. There were three to a pack and they were longer than this or taller than this, but I cut it in half for smaller projects. So now I will press my design down for 30 seconds and my heat press is on 315 degrees. So I will set the heat press back on its base, remove the Teflon. So now I will let my design cool down a little bit before I pull off the carrier sheet. So now I will slowly start to peel off the carrier sheet in a diagonal motion. Set that to the side. It looks like my T right here didn't want to stay down and a piece of that I and a piece of this E. So what I will do is put my Teflon sheet back on there and then press down for 15, for 15 seconds. And so then I will move the Teflon sheet and this is my finished tote bag. I think it looks really good. I'll hold it up to the camera. I think this bag looks really good and you can use it for um, as a gift or you can make one for yourself. I do love that it has two pockets on the front. So here's a pocket right here and then there's another pocket. Um, I just love it and I love the rose gold on here too so that black and rose gold looks very good so thank you for watching and be sure to check out some of my other tutorials